In the last short video in this series, we'll take a look at what I'm calling the mindfulness model, how mindfulness will help us to deal with the wave. Hello, Sharif Abdullah here, and this is my next to the last video on the series on the wave and uh, how you can and should be responding to the wave. So in the prior uh, vid short videos, I've been talking about um, what the wave is, how it could possibly impact us. I've been talking about the three different ways that we are going to be responding to this wave. And this video, I want to talk to you about um, who you must become. I want to be careful as I say this because I don't want to um, uh, upset anyone any more than I'm upsetting them anyway by saying all this stuff. Um, but there are lots and lots of people who think that they're awake, who think that they're already um, awakened enough that think that they're all responsive they look at other people and say oh yes they're so unenlightened and I'm the I, I and my group we're the enlightened ones etc I don't know anybody I've not met anybody in this society that needs to be comfortable um, I've met lots and lots of folks in lots and lots of different communities that think that they've got the answer and you don't um, I know that I myself have to improve. I have to do more than I've been doing. I've got to do better than what I've been doing. I've got to do different from what I've been doing. And so if you're feeling comfortable and if you're feeling complete and you're okay, then okay, switch the video off and turn something else on. Um, if you're thinking there's more that I can do for myself, there's more that I can do for my society, there's more that I can do for the planet, there's more that I can do to connect myself with the divine, however the divine is manifesting in your life, then stay tuned. So in this mindfulness model, I'm suggesting that there's some things that you and we need to be uh, addressing that we need to become different people. The first aspect is what I'm calling um, flexibility. We need to become flexible, adaptable. We need to be able to um, exist and even thrive in a completely different reality. That's, that's asking a lot. In my prior, one of my prior videos, I talked about the people who walked off the mountain in the face of an earthquake. Well, an earthquake has some readily definable qualities to it. You, you know it's going to happen. You know trees will be falling over. You know there's you know, lava. There's all sorts of other stuff that's happening. You, you, we, we, we have experience with that. What I'm suggesting that will be happening for us is there are things that we don't have any experience for. And it's not experience that will get us through. It's the condition of your own heart that will get you through. So if you've got a flexible heart, if you've got an adaptable heart, if you've got a fear-free heart, you're already way down the road. If new, if when new things come up, you are you face it with fear, with trepidation, with oh, I want somebody to tell me what to do, then you need to get over that, and you got about three to six months to get over it. You need to become unfreakable. Um, Again, I, I call on the movie Arrival a lot because I think it really shows what people do 
in the face of the really unknown. But um, uh, do you go crazy? Do you freak out? Do you turn to weapons and bombs to protect yourself? Uh, as one of the scientists, do you throw up in the garbage can <laughs> in the face of the unknown? Um, whatever happens, you need to be the one who doesn't freak out. As uh, Larry Dossi talks about having a high boggle threshold, that there's a high point before you say, my mind is boggled, you know. So, so you become um, the one that people turn to um, because you're not afraid and you're not asking for fear responses. You need to be to turn to community, not turn away from community. And by community, I don't mean people who look like you, sound like you, act like you, talk like you, walk like you. I don't even mean by community, people. Um, you need to know who your community is, who your communities are. The person who is wealthy is the person who can identify being part of more than one community. If you can't, if you can't become, if you're not part of any community, if your community is mediated by electronics, then you got about three to six months to get your act together and actually connect with real human beings. Community means groups that you can bond with. And that bonding takes place in, between human beings. That bonding takes place uh, in nature with, with more than human beings. That bonding takes place in collective consciousness. And remember, the wave may be experiences of collective consciousness. So you're going to be more than ready to, to ride along those waves. One of the things that, 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 uh, that takes place in this mindfulness model is compassion and love. I know people that talk about compassion, that talk about love. Um, love is not being nice. Love is not walking around with a big smile on your face all the time, etc. Love is helping those get what they need to get. Love is, is answering and responding to the directives of your heart and answering and responding in a way that resonates in the hearts of all. Another part of mindfulness is being authentic, being true to who you are. Another part of it is being inclusive, um, where this notion of creating a world that works for all is not the, the, a, a, a pie in the sky, oh, I want the world to be a better place, but is really a, a, a rigorous examination of how we have strayed from the path of life and the path of love and get our butts back to that. And this, the mindful model, mindfulness model is spiritual. Spiritual in the sense of not, I go to church on Sunday or I go to synagogue on Saturday or I go to the masjid on Friday and uh, I, I perform the rituals there, and so therefore I'm a spiritual person. Spiritual means that you have developed in your own heart, in your own capacity, a way of listening in silence to the direction of the divine, and then following that direction regardless of what your ego wants to have happen. For you to actually be willing to make the sacrifice to make your own life sacred, to, to answer that call, 
Now, we're going to be getting into a lot more of this when we're doing our course on the 12 steps of, of inclusivity that starts in the first week in February and goes for six um, uh, sessions. We're going to talk a lot more and a lot deeper about all of these things. But, the, but in order to do that, this is something that you've got to step up and say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this not just for myself. I'm going to do this for all others. I'm going to do this for those who can't join. Uh, one of my uh, other workshops, uh, I had people who were signed, signed up for it. And then they said, I'm going, to, I'm going to pay for someone else to take this course, someone who can't afford to take it. Um, and and uh, that way, be able to multiply the effects of it. When we do that, we can then be ready for whatever happens. Until we do that, we can't be ready for anything that could possibly happen. I wish us well on this journey. Um, I debated whether or not to do these videos, to do this, to do the workshop. And I debate it because is this mine to do? And the answer is yes, it's mine to do because I, I'm, I'm the one that woke up with the revelation. I believe a lot of you woke up with the same revelation. It's just that you, t you, you chose not to act on it or you chose to say oh now that I see somebody acting on it now I'm going to join with them I'm going to work with them etc so so this is going to be a very interesting step forward I'm looking forward to stepping forward with you I'm looking forward to all of us stepping into a whole new reality in our very near future and on all that I wish us all well see you in the workshop our workshop on the practicing the 12 steps of inclusivity starts on the 2nd of February. Please click on the links in the comments section below this video in order to find out more about how you can sign up for the workshop.